say na, na real love from, from this side. I love you guys so much. To everybody who rooted for me, I did. I did. I go show. I go let's see. Now one call away. I did. One call away. I did for you guys. I did for everybody. Thank you so much. It wasn't even a busy journey. I prayed so hard in that house. I prayed almost every day. But I know that <laughs> that part didn't get to you guys didn't see that part because I felt I'm a very spiritual person and I felt most of the things. That's but it's okay. It's okay. We're not here to even go, but I did a lot. That's on an OC. Over five times I contemplated on taking voluntary exits. Guys, so you heard from the OC's mouth that Big Brother's house no be child play like he choke. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. Just next is where you get all around entertainment. Just if you've not subscribed, just click hit the subscribe button and make sure you click on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post new videos. And if you're a return subscriber, you guys are the MVPs. Thank you all so so much. You see, guys, this also seasoning it was a lot because we saw how to meet going through a lot of emotions. Even the ones we thought that okay, this person is actually strong emotional, like at some point in time they broke down like you guys see Perry now at some point mercy have made that they cry and now mercy came to say it like she said as like five different times she actually contemplated of taking voluntary exits because she said she was feeling some kind of things that something is wrong and all that and she said she did a lot of things that we guys don't know about because obviously we only watch what they air now so it's whatever big brother shows us that we know is going on in the house. She said she was praying like every morning. She was still praying and she was thanking her fans that Oma Una tried. Like she was going through a lot of emotions in the house and it seems like her fans could feel it and they tried their possible best to keep her in the house and she's grateful that Oma. She made talk to say no be beans now. Like she was so grateful. But guys, I was just listening to her and the way she was talking about, like she kept on saying it like, oh more, it was not easy, like everything. She felt some kind of way she was feeling things, that things were not going well. And I'm like, what's up with that? But she didn't want to like say to me, I saw but she was like, eh, she understands, but no, but Hala, see me, they just leave their side, that she, she doesn't want to really dwell on what actually happened in the house. But the way she did talk, you like, see something deep, 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 deep really, really happened. In the house, but whichever way she shall go to, I could see it in her in her countenance, the way she was smiling, the way she was happy. That obviously, like, fine, I didn't win, but I still got in, and I and I came out top two. So it's still something because some people felt that okay, that mess is kind of like bitter, that they live by one, blah blah blah. But looking at her, she's happy, like she's happy. She's she's literally happy. And she's contented with the fact that she actually got top two. Because, guys, um, with that competition, like, it could have gone anyway. So imagine somebody that actually won a whole season, can't come, we never enter anyway. Now I'm going to in the place of white money. Because, guys, um, that is that white money was evicted. Even him gone, he was shocked. Like, he never could have seen that come in a million years. Like, or did he like a whole winner for one season come he go so you understand so the fact that she actually stayed to the last day is an achievement and kudos to her that's to tell you that our fans are actually strong because we all know that at some points most of us in our more elite by you don't win this thing so for her to even still strive and try and try and try to still our fans see the mercenaries they still try to push her in that top two, and baby girls like, oh my, it was not easy. For the fact that you guys took me to top two, I really appreciate you people. She's not going to talk about anything bad blood because she's just happy and she's smiling and she's contented, and which is actually a very good spirit. Like, what has happened has happened. You don't dwell on the past. You just move on and make yourself happy. Like, you make yourself happy. You don't dwell on any regret. We are this and that. Because, honestly speaking, like, I was seeing a lot of things on social media. And people are kind of, like, painting it like, Hey, I'm a message. You go and bow down in the shame. You uh, live here two weeks. Get on beat them and all that. But message handling it very fine. It was a game. The best man won. And she's happy. She came top, sec uh, top two. She first runner up. So, whichever way, guys choke on it she's happy and let's just be happy for her 
Congratulations, Mercy. This your joy will be permanent because you see, you take second place, you're happy sometimes. Some people will take first place, they go see the vex. So that just is, that's just how it is. Whatever situation you find yourself, you'll be happy and don't spoil the moment with your sadness, you understand? And I like the fact that she's actually seeing the positive in this thing and she self attests with that the game was tough. It wasn't easy, but she put through. So this is a win-win for her. So congratulations once more, Messi. Congratulations. Thanks for watching, guys. So what are your thoughts on this? Have the comment section and like your thoughts on this one. And on this note, guys, I've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Love you all till I come back again. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.